and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're kicking off summer right. We're gonna be sharing how to make these delicious southern style slaw dogs. Let's go see how these all come together. I'm gonna go over all the ingredients and we're gonna build ourselves a southern style slaw dog. And this is gonna be going on our playlist called Hot Dogs of Summer and because summer's here, the day that you're watching this is Memorial Day. It is also, incidentally, the same day that we are filming. But we had been gone for a week's vacation to visit Rick's parents, and now we're back and getting into the swing of it. So I couldn't think of a better way to kick off summer for Memorial Day than to add a video to our Hot Dogs of Summer playlist. This is a Southern slaw dog. It involves hot dogs, hot dog chili, coleslaw, mustard, and onions. And I'm going to be adding more hot dogs of summer throughout the, throughout the season um, to our playlist that are gonna be featuring regional style hot dog favorites. If you guys have a regional favorite from where you live, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure and add it to the list. Eventually, we'll get to all of them. There are so many, it is mind blowing. And before we continue, I wanna remind you to give this video a thumbs up, and if you're not already, hit that big red subscribe button. If you are already a member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, be sure and hit the bell notification button because we don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on this YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. So let's get busy making our Southern Slaw Dog. What I have here are a couple of split top hot dog buns and I happen to find these. Um, it's funny because we were shopping for, um, for hot dog buns and um, because I, I'm making these for lunch today, I didn't want to take time to make my own, but if you want to make your own, feel free. I happen to pick these up because they're split top like you would use for a lobster roll and um, a lady who was passing by happened to say those are the best hot dog buns I've ever had. So we decided to give them a try. And I thought that I love this style of hot dog bun because they're a lot easier to deal with for toppings and, and eating because they, the hot dog nestles right on in there. Um, it's split on the top instead of on the side and I absolutely love that. So what I have here are some bun length kosher hot dogs. These, you guys, you've heard me say before, I only use um, Hebrew National or Nathan's. Those are my two favorite go-to brands of hot dog. So you use what you like the best. Technically in the South, they would use um, what they call a red hot, which is a hot dog with a bright red casing. And hopefully someday soon we're we'll gonna be traveling um, to a, a nearby town that has an amazing hot dog institution uh, in Little Washington, North Carolina. So they use those kind of hot dogs. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit this with some yellow mustard, just like that. And then I had hot dog chili. I don't have any on hand. I didn't feel like making any, so the next best thing is pick up your favorite hot dog chili at your grocery store. We happened to find this. Um, I like the Nathan's brand. It generally has some really good ingredients in it. There are several types, and if you have a favorite, you should go ahead and use that. Um, this is their Coney Island Chili. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just sharing the brands that we're using with you guys today. So what you do is you just heat this up and then you put the chili on the hot dog, just like that. Oh, that's very easy. Thank you, Nathan's, for thinking of everything. That's probably gonna cover six hot dogs. The next thing you wanna do is we're gonna put some chopped onion. Not a ton, just some. Just like that. And then you're gonna to top that off with some slaw. Now this is my KFC copycat recipe coleslaw and just put a lovely little amount on the top. You wanna to be able to eat these. You don't want them to be gigantically messy. You don't want these to be fork and knife dogs. You want these to be pick up and eat dogs. Uh -huh. That's how easy it is to make a southern style slaw dog. I bet you didn't know there was chili on a slaw dog. Of course, if you're from the south, you probably already knew that. Nonetheless, 
I had to share it with you. And I couldn't think of a better time to do it than Memorial Day to kick off the summer season. So we're gonna go ahead and clear. We're going to kind of pretty up the place and then we'll come back and we'll have Rick give this a taste. I have to. You do. There you have it. Our gorgeous Southern style slaw dog. Slaw dog. I don't know if you're ready for lunch, but I'm ready for lunch. I know that Rick is hungry Starving. and ready to eat. So no time like the present. Do you want to taste this? To. I'm going to have to take the camera so he can do that. So that is really good. You like it? Better than I thought I'd be. <laughs> I'm always surprising him. I dropped. It's a messy. It's a messy dog. All right. You want to mash it together really good before you shove it in your mouth, but. Mm -hmm. Whenever you eat a good hot dog, it's going to be a little bit messy. But these are good though. Very good. Oh good. I'm glad you like it. Well, mm -hmm. we're going to get ready to have these for lunch. You can try it. Am I going to try it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can try it. Let's see. Oh wow. That's mm -hmm. really good. You get a little bit of everything. It's really good. Just put stuff in there that you like. What, what is there to not like? That's true. You got like... The sweet tanginess from the, the slaw, and it's nice and crunchy. You get a little bit of tang. Um, the mustard. From the mustard, and then the chili gives it a little a, a little spice and a depth of flavor that you're not gonna get from ketchup. So that is how you make a Southern style slaw dog. And you guys, don't forget about these buns, okay? These buns are awesome for stuffing a good hot dog. And don't forget this uh, Nathan's hot dog chili like i said this is not sponsored folks i'm just sharing with you what i use to make these this would make a super fast dinner also something you can add to your meal plan we went ahead and we sauteed our hot dogs in a little bit of butter in an iron skillet just until they were done and nice and brown on the outside so you can boil steam or grill yours however you choose to make them it's up to you this is a great addition to your meal planning this is a super fast meal you can get on the table with a bag of frozen french fries or even a bag of chips serve more coleslaw on the side and you're good to go i hope that you enjoyed this video i want to thank you for joining me today as always it's such a pleasure to have you join me in my kitchen i hope that you give these southern style slaw dogs a try sometime soon and i hope that you love them and until next time i'll see ya